In this video, I'm going to cover some of the reasons you might be experiencing low website traffic. So if this is something that's happening to your personal website or to your business website, you're going to want to stick around as we uncover some of the things that can be causing this issue with your traffic. So one of the first things we want to look at is if your website is set to index. It's a very simple mistake that is often done through um, by accident, by the fact of when the website was in development, it's usually placed as no index, meaning you're telling Google, do not index this website right now. We are still working on it and we do not want our uh, mix match under construction pages to actually show up in search results. Developers oftentimes when they're working on websites, turn on this feature as to not have anything um, that would make the brand look bad actually visible online. And then when they actually transfer over the website, sometimes it's overlooked on unchecking that. So what you wanna do is in your WordPress um, administration panel, you wanna to go to settings, then you wanna to go to reading, and under there you'll see where it says, allow search engines to index this website. If it's checked, that means you are not allowing the website to be indexed. So you wanna make sure that's unchecked so that your website can be properly indexed. That's letting Google know it's okay. Yes, you can add this website to your database, to your index, so that it shows up on Google search results. Another thing you wanna look for is the technical issues that might be happening with your website. How is Google crawling your website? Is there anything that's stopping it from being able to get crawled? So even though you might have no index unchecked, but there might be some other technical issue that's stopping the robot from being able to crawl your website properly. So you wanna look at things such as uh, page speed. If it's loading too slowly, what ends up happening is Google will come to your website to crawl it, see what it's about to put it into its index. But if it has too many false loads or it can't properly navigate to your website, it de just decides to leave, right? Because we gotta think that each time that Google's software goes to your website to index it, to see the change that it's you've done on your website, it actually costs money. It's costing them electricity to run the software to be able to catalog and index your website. And if it's taking too long, you're actually running up their bill across the thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of websites out there that they're actually crawling every single week or every single day. So that's one thing that might be in stopping your website from properly showing up and actually diminishing the traffic you receive on your website is the fact that Google is not properly crawling your website due to it loading too slowly or some type of plugin that's stopping it from properly cataloging it. So on to number three, if we can remove the fact that your website is set to index, there is no plugin or technical issue that's stopping Google from being able to crawl your website, then the third thing that's causing your website to not have traffic is what type of campaign are you doing that's actually driving traffic to your website? Because just putting your website online is not sufficient enough to actually get visitors. There has to be a driver of traffic to get people actually visiting your website, right? You have to think about how many thousands of websites are launched every single day. You know, the hundreds of thousands of websites exist in every single sector. So for those websites to actually be found, there has to be some type of component that's driving traffic and awareness so that people actually visit your website. So that's either through an SEO campaign where you're optimizing for search results. So when somebody searches for any given keyword your, that your website is associated with, you actually show up in the search results that's actually gonna bring traffic of somebody that was searching for that. Two would be if you have an external marketing campaign. So whether you're a small brand or a big brand and you might be advertising on the radio, in the newspaper and magazines, on television, you're actually causing a marketing awareness campaign to drive traffic to your website, right? Or it could be a social media campaign where you're actually promoting marketing on social media and put it out, putting out content that actually creates awareness and drives traffic and people to your website because they're interested in uh, what you're selling the product or services you're selling. So there has to be some type of 
marketing component or an optimization campaign or something that's driving the traffic to your website because just putting on the website online on the internet is not going to be enough. So these are the three things you're gonna to wanna to look at. If it's a index issue, the setting within your website's panel that's not allowing it to get crawled. If it's a technical issue that's actually in stopping the Google crawler from being able to crawl your website. Or third, if you actually even have any type of marketing campaign, uh, driver of traffic to raise awareness with the consumer that your website exists, that your product and services exist, and that they can actually come to your website and get those products and services. So these are three things you wanna look at if you're trying to evaluate what's going on with your traffic, why is it so low? If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below any questions, takeaways, and give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe if you're interested in topics just like the one I covered. I put out weekly videos for small business owners, entrepreneurs, people who are interested in making money online. I basically go over the fundamentals of digital marketing and the strategies and tools you can use to get more traffic, get more customers, and get more sales. And it doesn't matter if it's for a service-based business, a product, or a personal brand, these strategies are going to apply to you. Also, one last thing, always look at the video description of the video you're watching as I share sign-up links for free webinars, free workshops that I'm currently hosting. Hope to see you guys there. See you guys next time.